Hello, welcome to Bronx Brothers Motorcycles. For those of you who are new here, welcome. To our subscribers, thanks for coming back again. To our subscribers, I would like to say that it's been a while. I think it's been about three weeks since my last video. That's kind of long for me. And it's not because I haven't put together any videos. It's because I wasn't in love with them. And I chose not to post them. They just weren't of the quality that I was happy with. So it's more about quality to me now than quantity. Anyhow, today's video is about this motorcycle right here. It's a 2008 BMW K1200 GT. This thing's a bullet. And that's what this video is about. I'm going to go over the specs and why I purchased this bike. So you all sit back, get a drink, enjoy, relax, and I'll catch you after the intro. Well, as you can see, I have a new motorcycle. It's a 2008 BMW K1200 GT. It's actually 1157 uh, cubic centimeters or cc's. It has 152 horsepower, 98 foot pounds of torque. The top speed on this baby is 165. I don't think I'll ever hit that. It's considered to be a sport touring motorcycle. It, uh, when it first came out, it broke the uh, land speed record for a bike of this class uh, top speed which was I believe it was 175 something like that 177 regardless this bike has a lot of features it being a BMW uh, which I'll go over with you here shortly what I can tell you about the bike is it's, it's more of a sport sorry about that very windy here so what I can tell you about the bike is that it's very sport like position I've owned a few sport bikes in my time and this bike here you're if you have to ride it for eight hours and you're not I'm not the tallest guy at 510 but I find myself to be a little bit cramped and again I have a Harley Davidson electric glide, which is kind of like a recliner, some people say. So I have one of the most comfortable bikes on the planet, known to man, when it comes to touring. And this bike, sport touring, three, four hours, I'll be good. Anything more than that, I think I'll be hurting. Now I've ridden sport bikes. I rode a sport bike to Key West, and we put a lot of miles on. I've ridden my bike from here to uh, DC that was like a five-hour ride with traffic and all and then ride back that was an excruciating ride so yes I know what it is to ride a sport bike sport touring bike for long periods of time do you want to do it I don't think so anyway but the bike for like I said two or three hours you're in for anything not too far you're in it does have uh, nice saddlebags, panniers, whatever you want to call them, a nice trunk. Uh, so it has a lot of nice features. The windscreen goes up and down and it is very useful because I've been at, let's say above 55 miles per hour and I raise it and it feels great. And when I'm in town, I lower it. So it has hand warmers, seat warmers, it has modes. Uh, what else does it have? It has uh, cruise control, electronic cruise control. Uh, the braking is linked to six-speed transmission. Shifts very, to, in my opinion, it, it shifts well. It's a little clunky, but it's all part of the deal. Uh, the bike is comfortable. The seat is comfortable. 
the seat can be raised and lowered okay I'm not sure if you can see here but like many BMWs the GS the GS that I have my other bike the yellow one I can raise and lower the seat about two inches or an inch and a half which makes a difference uh, what else can I tell you the bags are easily removable that I, I can take all the bags off in less than a minute honest to God just put the key in pull that lever and the bags come right off and to put them on it probably take you an extra 30 seconds so it can, we can turn it into a sport bike in no time whatsoever why don't we go ahead and do that just to show you That's it, it came right off. Put it back on. Bags on. Same thing with this one. I don't want to take it out because I have equipment in there. I have my drone in there and it's kind of delicate. But as you can see, these bags come off very quickly. And if you have the missus or the girlfriend, you got a good backrest. Uh, if you're going out around town by yourself and you don't have to carry anything, take the bags off. If it's cool, and let's say in the daytime it's a little bit warm, you throw your jacket in here, you throw your gloves in there. And when the sun drops, you put your jacket on, you just pull it out of there. You can go shop. I went shopping the other day for milk and a, and a pizza and a few things. And everything fit. It's a fun bike for the price. This bike, when new, was almost $19,000 in 2008. And I got it for a fraction of that cost. And I'm actually selling the bike. That's why I purchased it. I'm going to fix a few things on it update it, ride it, enjoy it, and sell it. I, as you all know, I don't need another bike. I have, I'm trying to make space in my garage for this one. I have 11 bikes, now I have 12 with this one. So it's a little bit out of control. Good thing is my wife doesn't give me a hard time about it. She knows I'm gonna sell it, so she's cool with that. She knows I like to play with motorcycles. What else can I tell you about it? It is a little bit scarred up. The guy that, that I bought it from, bought it from an older gentleman, and he said the older gentleman had a very tight garage, and he would bump into things to get it in and out of the garage, and pretty much didn't care that he was uh, constantly banging this area up, and the bag needs some help. So I'm on the fence, if I sell it, light as is, or if I get it painted, which of course is going to increase the price, then it makes it more difficult to sell the bike, as you all can imagine. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? The handlebars are adjustable. You can raise them up or down, and they actually sell a plate where you can uh, raise it even higher, so you're not so much in a sport crouched position. Now we have all kind of noises here today. We got jets from the Navy flying overhead. There it is. Two of them. Not sure if you guys can see that. Subscribe, campana, gusta, comenta y comparte. The other thing I wanted to share with you is this cooling vest I just purchased. It's made by Sedici. I bought it at Cycle Gear for $35. It was on sale. I got the idea from Matt Laidlaw. Him and his uh, crew were all headed to the desert in California and they all purchased one. It was a Harley Davidson brand. They paid 80 something for it. I paid 35 plus tax. I feel it has kept me cooler. I'm not sure if you can see the difference in color of my shirt. So it feels like you just took your shirt 
and dunk it in water. So I, it feels damp, okay? But it's almost 90 degrees here, and I've been standing in the sun for about 15, 20 minutes now. And I'm not sweating profusely. Without it, I feel I would have. So it keeps your torso cooler. And I can feel the coolness. So I think it's a good deal, especially for those of you who are stuck in traffic, uh, who ride during rush hour, or just riding through that miserable above 90 degree temperature. So I think it's doing the job. I have this uh, cheesecloth looking jacket. You're supposed to put it on under a jacket, this stuff, so it doesn't dry right away or underneath your shirt. It is cut on the short side so that it's not dripping down onto your pants or even rubbing onto your pants. And down in the back, it goes down just a tad, as you can see. So I think for 35 plus tax, it's a good deal. It's working for me. Well, let's show you the features. Again, it's 156 horsepower, 98 foot-pounds of torque, top speed 166. Uh, let me show you the gauge cluster. in all of its operations. You seeing that? And then, this is the trip and all the other gizmos. Uh, that blinking red uh, brake failure thing, that goes out, that has to do this is a unified braking system. It's a linked braking system. So front and back. Uh, once you start the bike and take off, it does a, uh, what do you call? It does a brake check and then that light goes out. Uh, handlebar adjustability is right there. I think you can see it right here so it is at its highest position right now uh, the windscreen button is right here works quite well uh, cruise control click that to the right engage set off it has the what some people call the passing the headlight feature where you just hit it and it clicks your high beam horn is rather loud signal light signal light Similar to a Harley Davidson, where you have your right, uh, your left signal light on your left handlebar, and your right signal on your right handlebar. But unlike a Harley, you shut it off here. Where a Harley, you just click it again and it shuts that one off. So on a Harley Davidson, if you turn your signal light on, it's on, you click it again and it shuts it off. Not on the BMW, you have to hit this thing here. Hand warmers, grips, three position. Seat warmer, three position. Well, it's actually really two position because it's off, on, and high. Same thing with the seat, on and high. And then the passenger has, well, let's look at the, uh, the RPM. 10 plus miles per hour, kilometers. Uh, the passenger has a bun warmer. They also have a two position seat. 
warmer. Keep the buns warm. The back uh, case very nice fit two full face helmets in there got plenty of room comes off very easy turn the key to release this handle pops out you grab the handle and you walk away with it to put it back there's two hooks you engage the hooks push that handle forward and it locks in place very easy to do and that's kind of how these operate as well you turn the key to the release and this handle here pops up when you pull on the handle it disengages and you walk away this is a clamshell type oh here let's do it again kind of new at this you press here and you can see this popped up you now pull this open and boom this is substantial size I could I could tour for a whole week with those with all the bags I have here I got enough uh, for a week and I'm a youtuber so I have to carry a lot of uh, what do you call camera equipment and a lot of equipment and this all helps so uh, let's show you the seating position so Not bad, huh? On a, on a cruising or touring bike, you're more upright here. So, on this bike, you're leaning. You are putting weight on your hands, on your wrist. So, for those people who aren't used to riding uh, sport bikes, a lot of them are going to be like this in the beginning and putting a lot of pressure on their wrist you learn to keep your wrist straight so it takes that pressure off of your wrist uh, when I rode it today I noticed when I would get off the uh, lines of the grips were clearly marked on my hands because there's a lot of weight leading it's not terrible uh, but eight hours this position will probably get you more tired than a cruiser but I'm not knocking it I'm just saying okay uh, there are those who prefer this and, and that's understandable the other thing is the seat adjustability I wanted to show you that real quick So to remove the back seat, the key is all the way in the back. The back seat comes out and it has a storage as well as a wire attached because of the heated seat. This is the heated seat for the rider. And you can see it also has the wire and this is the piece that is moved so that you can raise or lower the seat this piece here and then the key goes there i think you can see it
Well, it seems we've come to the end of the video. I will say I need your help though. If you could write in the comments, what color do you think I should paint the bike? I know I want to paint it, but that's one of the hardest things that I find in customizing a bike. Picking a color. Anyway, while you're at it, if you could give it a thumbs up, YouTube kind of likes it when people do that. It helps the channel out a whole bunch. Well, you all take care. Watch out with the crazy people on the roads. And I will catch you on the next one. Adios.